Okay, assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Today we want we from five want to present about empty fruit bunch uh, to be converted as bioethanol. So uh, the introduction will be presented by Azmin Isma. So I will present about source of waste produce and quantity of waste produce. Uh, waste. Uh, our title is about empty fruit bunch to be converted into bioethanol. So empty fruit bunch comes from oil palm biomass are found to be seven times of natural timber. It is a renewable energy and converting oil palm EFB to biofuel such as ethanol is a good alternative and have less environmental footprint. These are the physical and chemical characteristics of OPEFB. And the second one is the quantity of waste produced. 16 million tons per year. Malaysia has more than 5 million hectares oil palm cultivation, making the country world's largest exporter of palm oil. So next is about process. <laughs> okay, process involves to convert the empty fruit bunch to bioethanol. So, the process involved is from the EFB or oil palm empty fruit punch, it will go off um, separation, phase, separation phase to separate them to organic phase and aqueous phase. So, in aqueous phase, there are hydrolysis, neutralization, and salt liquid separation process involved. And the process will need from aqueous phase, aqueous phase to hydrolysis will need water. From hydrolysis to neutralization will need CaOH. OH. From neutralization to solid liquid separation, separation will need calcium sulfate. Okay. So from solid liquid separation, the liquid state will separate to batch fermentation, air fermentary mass flux, and repeated batch fermentation, which is one liter fermenter. This will require 500 milliliter working volume and will produce cell sedimentation that involves the 300 milliliter fermented medium and 300 milliliter of fresh that will need six time cycle to make sure the fermentation continues. The oil palm empty fruit munch composed of cellulose, hemicellulose and lignin. The most complex structure is lignin. These conversion steps will involve three major steps which is number one which I described before this, hydrolysis and fermentation. Next, Lutfi. So next, uh, uh, after all the process, then the EFBS will be Overall, the process goes in, in three steps, which is pretreatment, hydrolysis, fermentation, and then we can produce bioethanol. Bio so, in the pretreatment phase, uh, we use four type of treatment which is biological chemical physical and psychochemical after that when the efb have been processed then it goes to the hydrolysis like uh, abang says and then it goes to fermentation stage 
which is we continues again the process and simmer using the enzyme called uh, saccharification and SFS process, uh, not not enzyme. So <laughs> uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong. So uh, when everything is uh, processed according to the step, then uh, we can produce bioethanol. I think that's all. So. Okay, this is the roughly the whole process of converting EFB to bioethanol. So, the process described of the pretreatment is to open the structure of OPEFB that in will increase the degree of conversion and its digestibility. So, the hydrolysis objective of the hydrolysis is to hydro hydrolyzed cellulose and hemicellulose to produce fermentable sugar, which is glucose, sucrose, and again. And fermentation is to convert biomass hydrolysate sugars to the desired product. The desired product here is bioethanol that we will convert EFB to bioethanol. Okay, next. Okay, uh, next is the advantages and disadvantage of SFH, which is, uh, what, what is this? Uh, uh, separate hydrolysis fermentation, uh, which is uh, this uh, process use enzyme and yeast that can operate on the optimal condition uh, with respect of the temperature, which means you can, this process can be used uh, in the longer period. But there is also the disadvantage, which is uh, there is a inhibitor in the hydrolysis product accumulate. So, which means the longer you use this, and then the, the product will be uh, decreased as the time. So, we need to add new enzyme and yeast over the time. Uh, so alternatively, uh, we can use uh, simultaneous sacrification and fermentation step uh, process, uh, which is the temperature is uh, not not optimal for the cellulose. Thus, the rate is lower, but uh, the process can be used for uh, balance. So no need to uh, use you add or continuously continuously watch over the process. So next, okay, for the application of biotena, I will present it. Next slide. So bioethanol. Uh, basically, bioethanol is a pure fuel or mixture of fuel in a certain proportion. Gasoline equivalent can replace conventional motor fuel without affecting ve vehicle performance. So basically, bioethanol can uh, replace the, the fuel that we use uh, in our daily vehicle. Uh, bioethanol also used in blended fuels such as E85, a blend of fuel wings with 85% of bioethanol and 50% of gasoline. Existing petrol engines operates on blend up to 15% of bioethanol with petroleum. Bioethanol can be mixed with diesel by using an appropriate emulsifier, which is disohol. And uh, for example, European Union EN228 standard Bioethanol could be used as a 5% blended with gasoline. Okay, uh, bioethanol, we can, we can know 
everybody know that uh, it is a renewable fuel. So uh, the reduction in oil consumption and greenhouse gas emission was possible to achieve by using blend of bioethanol and fuel. Besides addition of bioethanols to gasoline, it can increase the oxygen content of the fuel, improving the combustion in the engine of the gasoline and reducing the exhaust emission, such as carbon monoxide and unburned hydrocarbon. Actually, if we use this bioethanol uh, mixture, we can reduce the carbon monoxide produced by the exhaust, which means we can decrease the air pollution. Uh, for the third point, fossil fuel consumption and environmental pollution can also be reduced by using EFB for production of bioethanol. Since the mixture of bioethanol and gasoline can be used in the vehicle, so we can reduce the use of fossil fuel. There, everybody know that fossil fuel is a non-renewable fuel. So uh, we can uh, reduce it and save our world. For the last point, bioethanol as gasoline equivalent is economical because one liter of ethanol equals to 0.72 liter of gasoline, which means uh, we can reduce our cost uh, because the ethanol is equal, the one liter ethanol is equal to 0.72 liter of gasoline. Next. Okay, major application of bioethanol. The first application is fuel for power generation by thermal combustion. Feedstock in chemical industry, fuel in cogeneration system, and fuel for fuel cells by thermochemical reaction. Okay, uh, this is uh, the example of mixture of bioethanol with gasoline or diesel. E5G to E26G, which is 5 to 9% ethanol and 95 to 74% gasoline. For E85G, 85% gas e ethanol and 15% of gasoline. E15D, 15% of ethanol and 85% of diesel. And E95D, 95% of ethanol and 5% of water ignition improver. Basically, the number that were, that were written in the in the short form of the bioethanol is uh, is represent the percentage of ethanol that were combined that were combined by gasoline and diesel. So that's all from us. Thank you for lending your ears to watch our video presentation. Thank you. Thank you.